Okay, so now in this video, we will add fire charge to our rifle. For that, in the scripts, let's open up our rifle script. And right here, in the rifle things, let's create a public float by the name of fire charge. And this will be equals to 15F. Then after this, add another header. And let's name this header as a rifle ammunition and shooting right here we will create a private float by the name of next time to shoot and this will be equals to 0f and guys you know what fire charge or fire rate means it is basically a rate of fire or you can say a uh, charge of fire is the frequency at which a specific weapon can fire or you can say launch its projectiles or bullets okay so since we have a automatic rifle then we will add a specific fire charge to it okay you can change this fire charge or fire rate according to your weapon if you are using some different weapon because as you know that every weapon has its own fire rate some has higher fire rate or fire charge and some weapons have a low firing rate so i just want to tell you that a fire charge or a fire rate makes the weapon able to fire many bullets in seconds and since we will be dealing with raycast so our raycard raycast acts as bullets so you can consider this as bullets as well okay so right here when we fire okay then right here we want to add the fire charge so first of all we will say that if the current time okay this time dot time means current time is greater than or equals to the next time to shoot okay next time to shoot is for now equals to 0 f so if that is the case then right here first of all what we will do we will say that we will basically equals the next time to shoot to the current time and then we will say plus 1f divided by fire charge so 1 divided by 15 okay this fire charge is equals to 15 is 0 0.06 so what this means now this means that our rifle will shoot a bullet or you can say a ray cast every 0 0.06 which is really fast and basically you can say that our rifle will now shoot in intervals okay so for now let's just save this and as you know that our rifle before adding the fire charge was in single shot okay now if you check it out it will be it will shoot really fast but in intervals because we have applied the fire charge you will notice it let me show you the player okay let's now shoot but first let me show you the console you will notice that now if we hit this okay as you can see it still shoots in single shot whenever we press the fire one button it shoots as you can see it doesn't shoot according to the fire charge which we applied and this is because of this down okay so now we need to remove this down from there okay just leave it as cut button and now if we check it out let me play this in maximize okay and actually let's open up the console as well so that you guys can see okay so now if you try to fire this container you will notice that when we hold down the left key of the mouse as you can see it just shoots and shoot again and again and according to the fire charge okay for now we don't have any visualization of, of to the rifle we didn't add anything so in the future videos we will add muzzle spark and impact effect to our rifle so that whenever we shoot then we have this visualization that yes our rifle is shooting but that is for the future and let's end this video right here